Dallas Comic Con. And there's Olivia. Get up, get up. So, Dallas Comic Con. All kinds of comic books and everything here. Art over there. Let me turn you around. There's some lightsabers. Look at the lightsabers. There. All kinds of everything going on up here. So, this is. McKenna Michaels. McKenna Michaels. And she is a musician and she created this comic here. And this is going in the background as well. And you said that you are you created music to go along with your comics? Yeah, so I'm a full-time musician. Um, I am also an artist and a cosplayer, and I've been cosplaying for about 10 years. And when I was creating my album, which is out now, it's called Enlightenment, uh, I was trying to think of a way to combine the communities and put both things that I love together. And as a cosplayer and a comic lover, I thought, what better way to uh, mix in the communities I love than to create my own comic. So the song's called Survivor. Um, the comic is partnered with the National Epilepsy Foundation and tells the story of my friend Michelle, who has epilepsy. Um, she had uh, a stroke at five weeks old and cerebral palsy as a result. Um, and she wanted to tell her story because she's also a huge comic and anime fan and, and a cosplayer as well. Um, so it's enabled us to come and be a part of these conventions and, and I get to cosplay and sell my art, which is incredibly um, I'm grateful for it. It's incredibly amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of my story. And where can we find uh, your music and everything like online if somebody wanted to? Yeah, so all of my social media is McKenna Michaels Music, and that's M-C-K-E-N-N-A-M-I-C-H-E-L-S Music. Uh, I also am on all streaming platforms, so all my music videos are on YouTube, and then I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Pandora, anywhere that you can stream your music, I'll be there. Six songs on Billboard. Okay. That's my manager, Moose. Oh. Nice to meet you. And this is how you spell her name again, and this is the comic book. So look out for her online. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Down there is where the autographs are going to be, where all the celebrities are going to be for the meet and greets and all that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Those are some of the names that are going to be here. They're voice actors. All right, let me come back out and come down these stairs, see if I can show you some of the voice actors that are gonna be here. Christy Brinkley, Beverly D'Angelo. It's Steve from Boots Clues. All right, so we got some of the people that are gonna be here. That interview with uh, McKenna Michaels, that was really cool. Okay. She was really, really, uh, really nice and the idea that she said as far as her being a musician and putting her uh, her comic book with the music that is a genius idea to me that's something that I've always wanted to do maybe not as much as far as like comics but make my music the soundtrack to maybe a novel or or something to that effect and she's doing it like that really that really made me excited to hear her explain that story and see it brought to life. Um, so make sure you all go check that out. Um, go check out her her comic book. Go check out her music. Like support that. I think that's a really good idea. There's also a ton of these things here. That's the one you're going with. No, it's not. <laughs> they're all really cute. You don't really want that one. They're all really cute. That's why you're hesitant. I don't know which one of them. Are. Whack. This artwork is very nice. Look at some of this artwork right here. This one's dope. 
I like this one a lot. But the one that I like the most is that one right there. What up, Nip? Mac Miller. Is that juice? Is that juice for real? I think that's juice. Mac, Nip, neighborhood Nip, the Crip. Got some more Spider-Man action here. More Marvel. Awesome. Characters, cosplay going on. Look, look. Um, Jordans. We got all kind of vintage tees up there. See that blue Power Ranger shirt and the black Mighty Morphin next to it. Got some Transformers going on there. We got some sales. All right. Anybody, anybody need some socks? These are all socks. I like the Skittles socks there. All kinds of comics. We got some manga on sale there. You can get some pretty, pretty decent sales going on in here. Of course, the Funkos, if you need the Funkos. All kinds of different pops there. Got some, oh, Luca. Got some more. Got some Mike. Okay. That's a new one. I've never seen that one. Stan Lee there. The shield. Nice. And a little gaming action. This looks like the new Street Fighter. I might go ahead and pick up the sticks here. Here's outside the the event room. Still packed out here. There's an event going on way back there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Boom. They got something going on on stage up there. Fan Expo stuff. Pretty cool though. Look, it's the Mario Brothers. Very cool. And that's where you go into the event. Fan Expo Dallas. Check my man out. Beast. Nice view of the Dallas skyline there. Look at that. More of the Dallas skyline out here. And then the Dallas Morning News. Right and we're heading out for day two of the Dallas Comic Con. Look at the Chevy Bolt. Nice. Downtown Dallas looks pretty nice, man. I'm not going to lie about it. I should say it looks nice in some places. Everywhere ain't nice around here. But the skyline and everything is pretty nice. Kinda reminds me of Spain in some places. And there you see Coach Staley. Change. Is long overdue. I'm proud to partner with Aflac to show the power of investing in women's basketball. Well said, coach. I don't even know where we're at. But we're walking towards the convention center. 
I just like seeing the buildings and stuff like this. The architecture of the buildings. In case you're wondering what's on feet today. Salea, Bembry, Crocs. Look at that. That's a very nice statue right there. And that back there, that architecture is what I said it reminded me of Spain. This whole bull section here. We walk past this every single day. And this is where we're walking to now. It's nice. It's nice out here. I'm about to get left behind. Let me catch up. Here's the Omni Hotel. This is where we are going to. I once stayed here in 2016 for WrestleMania. These are people heading to the, the Comic Con. busier in here than it was yesterday. Like, it is really packed in this place. We should be going to look all around. The line is crazy. We're just... It is really ridiculous in here today. We got retro controllers. You can customize your video game controllers. Pikachu over here. It's crazy. We, look, look, look how, look how tight we are in here. Right. Got some figurines over here. Nice. Scooby open the floor. Oh, she hulk there. PSA. If you're watching this in the future after I post this on my YouTube channel and you are a comic person that goes to these cons, your PSA is to make sure you take a shower. Please, we will all thank you because some of you did not get that memo before you came here. Thank you. This is pretty awesome. Look at Doc Ock. Pretty cool right there. Oh, we got the Riddler as well. So sweet. Final day in Dallas. Final day. I don't think we're gonna be here that long. We're just gonna roll into the convention center one more time. Maybe do one little lap around the Comic Con. And then we are heading back home after that. Here's the gaming area. I'm not sure if I showed this before. But we got the gaming area, we got the Smash on this side. We got PlayStation 5 going on there. I'm not sure what game that is. Street Fighter it looks like. It looks like a Street Fighter. We got the other games going on here. Got another fight going on up here. And then over here we got the virtual reality section. Sweet. You can go get custom controllers over here. They're really getting into that virtual reality stuff right here. Mad collections of toys again, Funkos. Nice. Pictures that you can get. Folks in their costumes. We got the lights and things. Some of these pictures are real nice. We got different costumes weapons and things here. 
got Captain America shield. Different plushies and things here. Shirts. From here, you got like different box sets, mystery boxes. You can pick up and get different things. This is my man Nacho Libre right here. He just got done doing an interview. It's crowded around here, man. It's a whole bunch. It's not as bad as it was for day two. More pops. Different pops. Different art. More art. Different art there. Lots of manga and DVDs and stuff. Clothing. Crowns. Many different crowns. Things. Got some earrings here. Necklaces and more crowns and rings and jewelry. So the next time I come to one of these comic con events, I need to bring some of the Funkos that I have so that I can sell them because they have so many Funkos everywhere and mine are just kind of sitting there. Every corner you go to, there's Funkos everywhere. Need to bring some of the ones that I would like to get rid of right here so I can sell them. That gentleman right there is my father in law. And this is the rest of my family. It's my sister in law up there in the red shirt. Hey, isn't that my guy, Carl Winslow? That's Carl Winslow, isn't it? I might, I might have to look into this one. I've never seen this Funko here. I have a lot of these up here. I have a good amount of them. Ooh, Bam Bam. I don't have Bam Bam. And I don't think I have this Becky Lynch. But I do have this Jackie Robinson here. Ooh, Cowboys. Ooh. Good amount of Funkos here. Ooh, Star Lord T'Challa? That's a new one. All right, we're leaving the family now. Our family is going back the other direction. And we're about to get back on the road to go home. Right, all right? Right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my portion here. Been a fun weekend. A lot of nerdy activity. Look at this. This is this is what we got going on out here. This is good times. This is good times. That's gonna do it for this one. I'll holler at y'all in the next video. That's nice. Chameleon colored Tesla. And there he goes. Clean.